Just got word. Belikov is back in Moscow. You guys know the plan. Bell, you're with me. Lazar, be ready for Exfil. Are you taking them into the KGB with you? Are you crazy? Wait for Mason or Woods to return. I don't need Mason or Woods. I need Bell. They've got the skill we need. Are you enjoying this? You're risking the entire operation unnecessarily. It's not unnecessary. It's calculated. Just understand that if you botch this, we can't get those names. It's over. I know you can do this. Hudson doesn't trust anyone he can't control. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? By my estimation, there are better operatives for this job. You pose an unconvincing argument. Why don't you stop wasting my time and tell me what you need? That's on a need-to-know basis. From where I'm standing, there's no reason in hell you need to know that. You're to make contact with him and follow Adler's lead. Negative. Digging into the KGB's most classified database would blow his cover and burn years of posturing. He'll get you in, but he won't go near that list of names. We can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity, which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. I worked with Madame Jean for three years, closely. I trusted her. But the moment I began to suspect something. She knew. I was able to fight her off, but she left me with this parting gift. Oof. That's a dirty cut. So imagine my surprise when I read these reports. Madame Shell, body washed up on one bank, head on the other. Ironic, wouldn't you say? I'd call it poetic justice. Lazar. Thank you. For what? What's on your mind? This isn't the first government agency I've broken into. The best are virtually impenetrable. But there's always a weakness. In this case, the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own. I don't. He's not one of mine. If I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No, MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents in client states, smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours, supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. Man could be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. 
I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Scar? You mean this? Is it noticeable? Back in 73, I was nearly killed by a tiger while on a mission in Malaysia. But human ingenuity still rules the animal kingdom. You ever been attacked by a tiger, Bell? Okay. Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Well, she's... <laughs> you know what this dude thinks about Park. She's a true professional. I don't trust anyone at first, but after Berlin, I realize she's the real deal. Park's one of the guys to me. <laughs> one of the guys my ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hell no. KGB headquarters? Just between you and me. And me? And Sims. I hope I never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up. This has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep, it's a long way to Moscow. Nope. Sounds like a partial report to Moscow on lead agent activities. This should help us narrow down the list of suspects. The last report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. She believes she has enough influence to convince others to side with her. Strongman is concerned he's been monitored. Suggest KGB run interference for him. Juggler is worried he may lose his next election. Recommends active measures against his opponents. That ledger from Krauss's apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities. Seems Krauss was a middleman to funnel money for them.
Okay. Woods and Mason are gonna take point on this. Apparently, Rudnik is lying low in a remote Soviet base in the mountains of Uzbekistan. Not remote enough. We're gonna land our boys nearby and pay him a little visit. Let's cut this Perseus sucker down to size. Command sounded confident. Once we blow the shit out of their radio tower and create a distraction, we'll find out. It's time for a little hide and seek. All right, we're in position. Roger that. There's an airmail package ready for delivery. Just need an address. Go ahead and mark the radio tower for us. Basically, the towers up above the far edge. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail. Nick isn't here. Go on and move to the next building.
Call it in if you need to. Send it in! Roger that. Time to ring it coming! 